everyone welcome back to my youtube channel for those who haven't subscribed my channel yet i'll definitely encourage you to subscribe my channel right away so in this video i am going to tell you about resume how you can create an effective resume so that your application is the first one that get noticed by the recruiters since you might know this fact that when you apply for a job the very first thing that goes into the hands of a recruiter is your resume so it should be perfect attractive you need to think out of the box how your resume should look like there are multiple companies who are higher skill based uh, interns or employees for instance recently someone pitched zomato for graphic designing internship by posting their by posting his graphic content on linkedin by and tagging zomato for an internship it it is one of the best idea to approach the recruiter directly since linkedin is a platform where you might find multiple recruiters who are hiring actively so it could be one of the way but if we go in a traditional manner that is by resume then you should know the proper format how you can create a resume how you will add the summary part how you should arrange your education since when i look for interns for edusera or for geek squad i look for the resume which attract which is attractive for instance some of the students mention their education in a descending order or some of the people do not mention their achievement even if they mention their work experience they do not mention the exact point of what they did in their past internship were they wasting their time or it was a paid internship i mean by paid means some people pay the recruiters to hire them so they didn't mention the exact pointers what they have learned in their internship i am not interested in knowing that you have worked on that company or in that company i am interested in your learnings what you have learned from that company does it help you to become a better programmer or a better skill person so let's get started first of all i'll tell you one of the free website from where you can generate your resume you cannot alter their format but in that free format we can create something which is effective and which can help you to get hired somewhere so let's get started to open your browser and search for this website that is nova resume n o v a and then resume so the first website is www.novaresume.com as you can read it is a free cv builder and online resume builder just open this website and there you'll have one option to sign in just sign in either through google or through any medium you can sign in and once you are signed up then click on this my document section now select i suppose you are a student or a graduate so i'll go for a uh, cv which will depict my graduation level skills so i'll select this graduate maybe letter now i will create my resume as you can see freshers are expected to have a resume whereas people with experience are more likely to create their curriculum vitae okay so go for this resume option here you can read it's premium it means it's paid so we won't go for the paid version we'll go for the free version i usually prefer resume with a picture your choice may differ from mine so you are free to choose any of the theme where premium is not written so i'll go with this one again it depends upon your choice so 
once you'll click on them there will be a window similar to this here you will upload your picture upload photo okay for now let me check if i have a picture of anything i have see this picture here i'll click and will enter my name and contact details here my email id is written and here i will mention my phone number 1234567891 country india city you can write mumbai and that address is up to you if you want to add you may add social if you have any website you can enter that for now i will write www.geekscott.com you might have your linkedin profile you can enter the link it's very beneficial if you don't have a linkedin profile go and install that application in your mobile phone if you don't have that in your mobile phone linkedin should be handy you should not be active in the age of your career on instagram or facebook rather you should be active on linkedin create your profile add your educational details add your photograph add your expertise there will be a column to add your work experience go there and add it and feel free to reach to recruiters there are multiple recruiters who are hiring actively so linkedin is one of the best best platform to grab a job so you can add your quora link if you have written anything on quora even your facebook skype github profile is really mandatory for those who are looking for a coding job and if you don't know how to go uh, upload your projects on github i'll create one other video for the uh, same and now also i'll tell you how to contribute on stack overflow if you want so and you might have written some blogs on medium or you have a page on instagram you can always mention that so save then here you will add your education suppose you have recently completed your masters degree so here you will enter your study program so let let us suppose you have completed mtech from any college like triple it ilahabad or uh, triple it bhopal here you will enter the duration from when you have joined that college in 2019 and 2021 it's optional but you can enter your gpa or your cgpa here and you can mention the course or your project which you have done in your final year or in your pre final year so android development project based on safety similarly here you will add your btech program duration if you are a student who is watching this video you can click on this present symbol here you will add your course for example computer science engineering here you will add your work experience so in work experience first of all enter the uh, company which you have left recently or you are working currently similarly in education mtech btech then your 12th standard or if you have done your diploma then diploma 12th standard and then 10th standard this should be the sequence the most recent thing should be at the top so work experience let's say i have worked at macomotive oh the macomotive my position was manager i will write the duration
company description is optional and task or responsibilities is mandatory here i will write my responsibilities as i have mentioned everyone is interested in knowing your learnings from the job they are not interested in any other thing i have uh, managed a team of 100 candidates in similar manner if you have worked as a programmer or as an intern then you can mention that you have worked on that project and what was there in that project what was your responsibility if you were the one who was testing the project you can enter testing or anything else and you know, while clicking on this plus symbol you can add more uh, details and then here you can enter the certificates that you have passed for example oracle certification for java programmer or nptl certification or any other certification which you have done in your graduation or after your graduation personal projects are really important don't leave this field here enter your personal projects show your creativity to the recruiter that you are not someone who will only work when you are assigned with a task you are continuously on a self-development process achievements achievements like suppose you have won any program or you have a good rank on code chef you are you are the one who is recognized by open source pro, uh, programs or you got a rank in a hackathon or you won something you can enter that in achievement section here language you can add your profici uh, proficiency level in the languages which you like. Here interest or you can rename this as your hobbies. Here you will write whatever your hobbies are. And here you will write your skill set. So I will write Python, social media, marketing, SEO, Java, communication skills, communication, leadership. See your skill should match the profile that you are looking for. And here you will add your name. Oh, here you will see while clicking on this account setting you can enter your name so given name i will write madhavi then astana you can add your date of birth and here you are done and then you need to enter the profile for which you are applying for instance i am applying for the position of a product manager so i will enter there as product manager or as an engineer if you are looking for a job then you may and mention that you are looking forward for a job which requires um uh, which requires an engineer to perform the required duties here you will add short and en engaging pitch about yourself that is summary which is this one i will paste this in the description box as well you can copy that from there and add the content over the summary section since i was looking forward for a computer science job earlier but now i'm looking for a job 
of a manager so i will i will change this summary accordingly for instance self directed uh, directed and innovative thinker with a knack of developing creative complex problems with a keen interest in the since i was talking about programming position that's why i wrote developing creative complex problems with a keen interest in the field of computer science seeking for an opportunity to put my knowledge and experience to enhance the organizational goals and achieve optimum success so if i want to uh, apply for the position of a manager i will write self directive and innovative thinker with a knack of solving management problems taking the management taking over the So once you are done with all these uh, steps here in organizations you might enter about the extracurricular activities like you have participated in something you were a part of an ngo you were the part of one of the uh, college based community like acm esme or i triple e you can mention that the name of the society is and your role in that so it's quite simple process all i wanted to show you is how to create a free resume so click on this download button and your resume is downloaded see your resume is ready i haven't wrote everything because i don't want to create my resume again so you can create your resume add your own picture it was a demo that's why i haven't added update details i just wanted to showcase you something so once you are done you can anytime visit this website again and can edit the same document from my document section even you can change the theme for free i do not remember exactly but uh, okay this was for premium in which premium is not written you can use that for instance this one this is free for the theme thing this is also free this color is also free so whatever color you want to print your resume in you can download that and you can add few more things these layouts are i think paid since it is written that when you want a custom feel you need to pay something and font size some are premium some are free since so these are free roboto and you can also manage the font size so it is looking nice you may download it again and we are done if you like the video then please subscribe the channel and give us a thumbs up and also share our video thank you